Hello everybody, this is Excel-DashboardTemplates.com. I'm Steve True. Please visit my website, Excel-DashboardTemplates.com. And on that website, you'll find how to make exciting charts like we're going to show you today that you can use in your dashboards and templates. So the chart we're going to do today is a conditional column chart. Uh, let me show you what one looks like. Uh, so here is a conditional column. So you can see we've got the red is when it's below the average line and the green is when it's above our average line. And uh, I want to always, as I add new uh, data points, I, if it's below the average, I want it to be red. And if it's above the average, I want it to be green. How can I do that simply and easily? Well, let me show you. So in um, your Excel spreadsheet, what you'll want to do is set up a range um, for your chart. So right here we have our data and it's not going to plot it the way we want. We have what our average is, we have our specific data points, um, but what we need to do is set up a separate charting range. So I've set up the month, which is just going to look over there at A2 for the month. I've got an above average and below average column, and then I'm also going to create the average line as well. So the average line is pretty easy. It's just going to take the average of our entire range and we'll end up copying that down. Now, how the green and red above and below average worked, as you'll see here, uh, what they do is we are utilizing the NA part of this formula. Uh, so there's an NA function, which says if it is uh, not applicable, um, go ahead and put in a pound NA, which uh, here in the spreadsheet, you will see it says pound NA. Um, what we're doing is we're just doing a simple if formula. We're saying if B2, which is in this instance 2690, is greater than 3144, which is we're copying over to our average, then put in B2. If not, put in an NA. When we do an NA function, what it will do is it will uh, not chart. Excel does not chart pound NA. So it will chart zeros in a line, but if you put NA, it will leave breaks within that line. A conditional uh, in a column chart, it just won't show that column. Doesn't work for every single chart type, but most chart types, the NA function will do what we want it to do. So here in the red, since 2690 is below our average, um, we're doing the opposite of that. If B2 is less than the average, then put in B2, else do an NA formula. So um, we're gonna go ahead and highlight this range. Oops, let me make sure I highlight the correct range. There we go. We're going to just copy this down a little ways. And so you can see in our above average column, for January we have pound to NA, February 3302, which is above the average, so is 4109, and April is below the average at 2355. So uh, you can see the red column is going to do just the opposite. It's putting in when it's below average, and it is putting in, if it's above average, a pound to NA. So we're going to highlight this range and make our conditional column chart. Now this redo, what, why uh, I'm showing you this today is there's a much easier way than what I've showed you in the past. If you um, go create a column chart, uh, but this time choose a stacked column. Uh, because these NAs are here and they're not going to be plotted, regardless if they're on top of each other or not, uh, they won't show up. So uh, you essentially have a flattened column. Uh, stacked on top of a different column, so it'll show exactly what we want. Let me show you that right now. So I've highlighted the range. I'm going to go up to my insert ribbon. In the charts group, I'm going to choose a column chart, and like I said, we're going to do a stacked column chart. So let's go ahead and, and pick that one. Let me move this up so you can see it next to the data. <clears throat> so you can see it's uh, plotted kind of what we want. These green ones, as you can see, we have, we're going to call that our average line. So I'm just going to click on that and make it a quick combo chart by going up to uh, the design ribbon and in the chart type or in the type group, click on change chart type. And we're going to just going to change that to a line chart. I'll click on OK. And so there's our average line. We're almost done with this. You can see our uh, chart is actually conditional already. It's got the different colors in there. Um, so we're going to click on the different series and you can either right click on this and click on Format Data Series because it's pretty much already done. All we need to do is change the colors. Um, so I'm going to right click on one and do Format Data Series or you can go Layout and you can um, format the selection over in the chart select current selection group. Once we do that we can see there's this fill color. Let me move it to the side. So right now it's blue. It's doing an automatic and it shows blue since this is above our average line. We want to do a solid fill. We want to choose a green color 
and we do not need to, the good thing about Excel is we don't need to actually leave this dialog box when we're changing this data series. We can click on the next data series, the red, which is below the average line. Let's change the fill color of that to red. And there we go. So that's bad news. It's below our average line. And I really can't see my average line. So I'm going to change that to, let's say, a blue color. So you, once again, you don't have to leave this menu. We can just go right to line color, solid line. And let's change it to some sort of dark blue so it really stands out. All right, so there you can see we've quickly created a conditional column chart. <clears throat> if I go in and change any of these data points, uh, let's say 4109 was really 1109, uh, it is changed our average, and also it is showing that it's below average. April is almost above average now, and let's say we change that to 2500. It is now above the average. The average changed slightly, but it was enough to overcome the average, and it changes to green. So you can see how quickly and easily to make a conditional column chart. You're going to use the two fun uh, two different things. One is the function NA, so that's NA with uh, two parentheses, um, and then you'd want to create a stacked column chart. So under column chart, a stacked column chart, and then change the colors to what you want and. Uh, you will be able to make your own conditional column charts and uh, wow your company, your bosses, your executives, uh, and make some exciting dashboard templates. So once again, you can download this sample file and see how it works at our website, excel-dashboardtemplates.com. Uh, and please leave some comments. Let me know um, on YouTube if uh, you liked this, and uh, let me know also what you'd like to see, and we'll build those charts to show you how to use those as well. Thank you, and look forward to seeing your comments on our blog.